The GQ EMF 390 is not just an EMF detector, it has comprehensive RF analysis modes as well. And GQ sponsored this video so I could show you the RF browser mode. Now for simple real-time power readings across a full RF spectrum from 10 megahertz to 10 gigahertz, the all-in-one mode and the vertical mode are perfect for detecting broad RF signals. And if you wanna analyze the signal strength from specific frequency bands, the RF spectrum mode is perfect for that, which I covered in another video. But the RF browser mode shows you the total RF signal strength across all frequencies over time. So in other words, you don't care which specific frequencies are emitting RF radiation. You just wanna know the total RF signal being emitted over time. So what we're looking at here is a sliding graph of RF signal measured in milliwatts per meter squared over time. You can change the time scale that's displayed by clicking this button right here and selecting a new time frame. So one second is going to slide by a lot faster because the graph only represents one second of time and a 12 second time frame is going to go by a lot slower, but everything's going to be a little more compressed. Now this number right here represents the peak power that's displayed in the given period. So in the last 12 seconds, the highest power detected is 2.5. And you see this little arrow right here, that represents this spot on the graph right here. So this will slide down and it'll change in real time uh, to whatever the current highest uh, peak is. So now once this goes off the screen, that's the new peak within this time frame. And now we have a new peak over here. So this number always represents what this arrow is pointing at. This measurement right here shows you the real time power measurement. So that's basically the front of the graph right here. And down below we're showing the peak measurement that was detected during this current viewing session. Now, if I introduce a signal generator here, we'll see the floor start to rise on the graph. So if I pull this away, it drops down. If I bring it back in, it goes up. So you can see how it reacts in real time to a signal. The RF browser mode also has the digital RF screen, which will attempt to kind of estimate the amount of data that is being transmitted over the entire RF spectrum. Now you gotta keep in mind in a noisy environment like this where I have a lot of equipment around, um, this isn't going to be super helpful, but if you have a relative low noise environment, this data might be useful. And finally, there's the power histogram. So this chart shows the signal strength measured in decibels and the height represents the number of times a signal at that strength was detected. So it's actually measured over time. So you need to hit this button right here to start the measurement. The height of the bar indicates how many times a signal was detected at that strength. And then you just hit the button again to stop it. So this just gives you a different way of analyzing the RF signals. So whether you just want a quick RF signal reading, if you wanna look at the reading over time, or if you wanna analyze specific frequencies, the EMF 390 has a specific screen to allow you to do that.